Hey, this is Jed Jones again. This is Module 2 in my very short two-module series on how to use Word Tracker, the keyword research tool. And um, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you, kind of taking, uh, picking up where I left off before. I'm going to go ahead and now talk a little bit about how to specifically uh, use this tool to find competitive keyword phrases for your title for an article marketing uh, campaign. So let's go back to the home page, um, kind of starting over again, so to speak and back in the keyword universe, and by the way, it, it remembers uh, anything you've had in the system. So earlier we were doing some searches on cooking, uh, for example. It's going to go ahead and it kept all those in my, in my, um, in my shopping cart here. So rather than, uh, if, if you still want to know how to do the searches, go ahead and refer to my module one. But we're going to go ahead and keep the same list we had before for cooking. And I'm going to click here for step three, as it says. And uh, this time, instead of clicking on export keywords, I'm going to click on competition search. And I'm going to click on um, Google. What this is going to show me, and I'm going to explain it while I do it, but let me go ahead and start it running. So I'm going to click one through, see we had 600 words, so I'm going to click one through 100, which is the first 100 words, and Google down here. And I'm going to click proceed. And I'll explain what it's doing while, I, while, it, while it thinks a little bit about this. Okay, what it's doing right now is it's actually going to tell me two things. It's going to tell me how many people are searching for that word, which we know earlier with that information was, was available to us earlier. But it also tells us uh, how many other websites come up among the results on a search engine like Google in this case uh, when that keyword is searched. Okay, so you can see now it's run its little query. And I'm going to go ahead and um, there's a lot of information here. For right now, I'm going to ask you to ignore KEI analysis, which is kind of their proprietary way of giving it a score, and ignore count. All I really look at is 24 hours, which tells me how many, what their predicted number of daily searches is for that keyword in 24 hour period, and uh, number of competing websites, meaning how many other websites feature that word. Okay, I'm about, about to tell you one of my secrets that I use for article marketing. I only select words for article marketing titles that have uh, less than or fewer than 500 I'm sorry, 5,000 uh, websites that actually contain that keyword. So um, I'm not going to go into why I do that, but that's, that's a threshold that I find useful. Now I'm going to go ahead and take, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this. I'm showing you kind of something now that I really is one of my tricks of my trade, but I'd like to show my, my uh, clients and other folks how I do this. I'm going to go ahead and select all these keywords down here. But I'm, I know I'm gonna, I want to skip any. If you look in the right-hand column, a lot of these have, you know, 603,000, 210,000 websites. Those are too rich for my blood, meaning it's going to be too hard to compete for those keywords. I'm going to go down to anything less than 5,000. So it look, looks like right around here is where it's going to be the cutoff point. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my, my trusty Control-C, uh, at least if you're using a PC or whatever you're using for Mac or other computers. Uh, copy that, and then toggle over to an Excel spreadsheet and go ahead and paste that information right into Excel. Okay, now in the interest of time, I'm not going to run another query, but what I would recommend doing is going ahead and running it, in this case, for 101 to 200, and go ahead and run this query again by hitting proceed. Do what I just did, you know, repeat once and, and, uh, uh, and, and, and repeat again until you get um, into where you've done the entire list, okay? It'll probably take you about five minutes or so. Let's go back to Excel, though, and just finish this up. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I don't want some of these rows, and I'm going to show you basically right now how to actually select the best keywords. So I'm going to delete any columns I don't need. Um, I know I don't need these columns. To help me remember what these are, I'm going to go ahead and, and label these briefly. So key, this is the actual keyword, this is a 24-hour search, and this is the number of competing websites that actually feature that keyword. And I'm actually going to freeze my screen. You'll see my screen has actually got Japanese controls. Um, it's a long story, but basically I've spent a lot of time in Japan. That's why that's the case, in case you're wondering. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and um, do a uh, descending sort. So those of you familiar with Excel, for the competing. Basically, I want to I want to get rid of any keywords, again, that have over 5,000 other websites that feature those words. So basically, from here on up, I'm going to get rid of these keywords right off the bat. Okay, delete those. But this leaves me with a whole bunch of words left. Now, the next most, what are the most desirable keywords among those that are left? Any of those keywords that have more searches. So the more searches, the better. So now I'm going to sort. I'm going to sort in a descending order by this column B here, which is 24-hour. 
and I'm going to go ahead and, and select what I call candidate keywords, meaning which are the ones that I would probably want to use in an article title. And I'm not really into the marijuana brownie thing, so I'm going to skip that one. Um, gross recipes for Halloween doesn't really do it for me. Um, homemade hamburger recipe could work. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not really in the Halloween theme. And how about ground beef casserole recipes? And let's go with simple hamburger recipes. For some reason, hamburger is a big deal on this, on this particular search. Now I'm going to do one more search, this time by candidate. And here are the three keywords that if I use in an article title and embed in at least an article, at least one time in my article, and post it to a website like easyinarticles.com, for example, I know that I'm going to get, a, uh, with a very, very high likelihood, uh, high chance, I'm going to get a uh, number one ranking, or at least page one ranking for that, for that article. So that's how I do it. Simple, easy, straightforward. Watch this video a couple times. I did a lot of information. I did a lot here, but go ahead and watch it a couple times. Save that, and you're good to go. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, close out Module 1. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at jed at jcjinteractive.com. be happy to help. Also, um, you can get the keyword uh, tool, Word Tracker. Go to um, the website you see right at the top here. And um, you can, it's actually wordtracker-free-trial.com. And they'll actually give you what it says, a free trial. And you can actually try this out for yourself without paying any money, which is always fun. So enjoy. Have a great day. And uh, good luck with this really powerful stuff. And hopefully you uh, will get lots of traffic with this uh, to your website and, and sell lots of things or, or whatever it is that you do on your website. You'll be doing a lot more of it once you use these techniques. Have a great day.